The British are coming. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I import them from the finest Cuban munition factories. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid! Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smug? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby.
Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? No way, it could be on fire by now. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Excellent! I need that for my super battery. Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there! Don't escape again! Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right.
Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? 
Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrants will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good looking tentacle. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. You're ready to go now. Why would he need a sense of humor in here? It looks quite happy where it is. Huh. 
great Scott! You're purple... Uh, um... Yes? Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? I think humans are the vilest creatures on the planet. That's the spirit. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? <laughs> Can't get close to him. This ought to be good. the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. Modern science, it will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. What is it this time? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? 
It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Brown water. Not funny enough. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. Hi. Hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. I don't wanna. Nah, I like it the way it is. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work.
Sorry, I'm under strict orders from Tentacle Number One, the Almighty Elder, the Grand Puma, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darn attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm, uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, uh, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> Don't you recognize me? Uh, no, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? I love that place. I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Huh. You losers can't even ride tricycles. You see why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Get away from that. That's my job. Wow, this is loud. Phew. Hey, what's up, Bernard? How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we have a huge following in the club scene. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. That's great. Yeah. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged though because he doesn't have fingers. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it. 
but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. But getting back out of it is hard. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! <laughs> 